Good morning, New York. Angela, daily bite of health, and uh, just took a shower after all my workouts in the morning and drinking my fatty coffee. You can even see butter <laughs> floating in it. So today, um, episode today is Tuesday, and Tuesday I like to talk <clears throat> uh, more about nutrition. And today I'm talking about my favorite high-fat diet, uh, also known as ketogenic diet. Um, it's not high protein diet, it's high fat diet. It's low carb, high fat. Just want to make sure that you know <clears throat> the difference between a uh, high protein and high fat diet. So, um, ketogenic diet, why do it? Um, because uh, it makes you stay, it helps you stay the fittest, the leanest, the easiest, eat uh, the best. It gives the best energy to your brain and to your body once you switch to burning fat instead of burning carbohydrates that uh, what uh, usually people do and what usually uh, New York <laughs> um, noise so high fat, fat diet why you want to do it to lose weight to stay <clears throat> to stay focused um, to if you have diabetes if you have any kind of um, disorders or issues with related to your blood sugar, if you think or if you uh, have metabolic syndrome, uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have uh, if you're in danger of getting Alzheimer or you have it already or uh, uh, any kind of neurodegenerative diseases then ketogenic diet is your diet and if you're not on it and if you are on carbohydrate high carbohydrate diet then what you're doing I have no idea like a lot of people are so sick and diet is such a powerful tool that available to everyone and people don't use it then I really don't get it like uh, if your only problem is weight loss then yeah it's you know uh, if you're comfortable or uh, with being overweight it's uh, your thing you know do whatever you want it's your life but if you want to lose weight if you want to stay the fittest if you want to stay the leanest if you want to be sharp and focused uh, then used and uh, apply uh, love ketogenic diet I love it you know I love high fat I used to I tried low carb I tried high carb uh, I tried low fat high protein diet and it worked for a while but then it all sucked and ketogenic diet I've been doing it for three years uh, on and off and the best I felt was always on a ketogenic diet and I love my fatty coffee with a lot of butter in it <laughs> When I didn't have to think about food for like I don't know till 2 3 p.m. Uh, so why do it how do how to do it um, there are a few issues that usually people have with high fat diet first of all a lot of people are afraid of high fat diet they think that fat makes you fat no insulin makes you fat and you have high insulin that is a hormone released by your pancreas you have high insulin when you have high carbohydrate diet, especially uh, diet rich in sugars, processed sugars and uh, <clears throat> grains, processed grains. But if your carbohydrate intake is higher than it should be and your body cannot tolerate it, then you're gonna have high insulin in your blood that is not good for your body. That's why it will make sure that your that it does everything to remove that insulin from your blood, uh, putting it in your cells or in your muscles or in your liver. Uh, but that process, putting insulin in your cells, tells your cells to store fat um, instead of using it for energy. So fat does not make you fat. Insulin, high insulin does. And the way to prevent high insulin levels in your blood is going on low carbohydrate diet. And the, one, the only way it's sustainable and healthy and doesn't make you cranky, hungry, angry all the time is going high fat. Now I'm not saying it's going to be easy from the day one because any kind of diet change is not going to be easy for your body. And if you were running on sugars for your whole life, don't expect it to be easy. First three days is gonna suck like hell. You're gonna you're gonna feel the hungriest, the angriest, <laughs> and the, uh, the probably most unhappy person in the world. Uh, first three days, but then uh, after that it gets easier and. Uh, you get fully keto adapted, meaning uh, adapted to burning fat as your main fuel source after 
two, four weeks. Um, it depends where you're coming from. If you're really like a sugar addict, if your diet really high in carbohydrates, then uh, then uh, it's gonna take you longer to become keto adapted, adapted to burning fat. So. Um, when people switch to a ketogenic diet or they think they switch to high fat diet, um, a lot of times they end up consuming more protein than fat. Uh, where do you get your fat? Like, where do I get my fat? Well, obviously in my coffee, that in my coffee I put either a coconut oil, um, I like to have the least processed uh, coconut oil, so this one it has everything, it's not filtered. Um, it's unrefined, fresh pressed, uh, and um, yeah, I love using this one because it has some coconut flavor. But then, you know, my favorite one is Brain Octane that is derived from coconut oil. But there are certain there are certain fatty acids that are better to fuel your brain than others, so and better for your body. Um, so this is the best source. It also removes all your cravings for carbohydrates or for food, the best. So Brain Octane, if you want to uh, get rid of your cravings, then use it in your coffee or just take, or in your tea, just put it in your drink or just take it, you know, take a tablespoon of it. Like I put a tablespoon in my coffee twice a day and um, yeah. Uh, what else? Like fish like sardines or salmon uh, is the best source of your omega-3s uh, one of the fatty acids that are essential for your brain development and function and uh, if you don't get them you're gonna have all kinds of issues disorders with your health and uh, get them so sardines uh, mackerel um, salmon um, herring um, make sure that all of the fish I'm talking about it's organic, it's wild caught, it's uh, either uh, in cans preserved the best way in water or olive oil or it's uh, steamed because uh, any healthy food you can make unhealthy if you cook it uh, in not healthy way like if you uh, fry it or over grill it make it uh, burning all the healthy fats making them unhealthy so make sure that whatever food you eating is prepared in a healthy way so yeah healthy fats coconut oil sardines mackerel salmon all that fatty fish uh, then butter I have my butter here I love butter you know I like before going high fat, I um, didn't know I love butter so much. I just can eat it like you know with a spoon. <laughs> so this is one of my uh, favorite brands. It's from Texas. It's uh, organic, you know, raised, uh, um, pasture, grass fat, uh, all that good stuff. Um, and it comes with this butter sticks, and I put. Uh, Probably like a tablespoon in my coffee also, like this brand I also love. Uh, you can see that I'm already <laughs> almost done with that, so yeah, you can see it. I'm gonna post links to the products I'm showing uh, underneath this video, under this video sometime later today. So this is my fat, then cacao butter, it uh, has this chocolate flavor and it has zero carbs and it has polyphenol stuff, those uh, plant antioxidants that are so good for you and uh, I just, uh, I love cacao butter, you could also make chocolate with it. I just eat it uh, with my coffee, you know, I, I grab a piece of it uh, and yeah, and I just uh, eat it with my um, fatty coffee and I love it. So these are some of my favorite fats. Then uh, you can get your fat from bacon or from fattier cuts of meats. Um, either it's you know beef or uh, chicken or whatever it is. Chicken is not you know fat meat in the first place. But uh, make sure that you get the fattiest parts, not the chicken breast, like not the. Uh, the like the leanest cut that you can get at the store no go for the fattiest part go for bacon go for um organ meats like stomachs uh, uh, livers uh, tongues uh, or 
they have those parts of animals have more nutrients have more fat and are better for you but make sure that they come from um, healthy animals so these are the fats that you want to get in your diet uh, eggs whole eggs forget about egg whites whole eggs um, so that's what you eat on high fat diet and a cheese make sure it's uh, the least amount of carbohydrates um, then sour cream yogurt again without sugar um, organic from grass fed healthy animals mm. what else um, well that's about it about the food just make sure that if you're switching to a ketogenic high fat diet then your diet is actually high in fat, no, not high in protein, because high protein also makes your blood sugar um, higher and your body starts releasing insulin and you're never really switching to burning fat for fuel and that's gonna mean that you're gonna feel shitty, you're gonna feel low on energy and uh, it's just not a good thing to do. So high fat ketogenic diet, um, uh, make sure also uh, that you eat enough sodium because uh, when you go really low carb your body releases a lot of sodium from your body that's why you lose the most water and you need to actually um, supplement your diet with sodium um, I usually if I start feeling dizzy if I start feeling um, low in energy if I start feeling like uh, my blood sugar goes down meaning when I stand up or when I exercise uh, coming from s sitting to standing position I feel dizzy and um, uh, yeah I just you know feel like about you uh, <laughs> about you I, I don't know faint or something uh, then I'm, and then it for me it means that my sodium is low and I just uh, take some uh, Himalayan or sea salt um, a teaspoon um, not a heaping teaspoon but uh, about 20 grams I uh, just put in my water somewhere and drink it real fast and uh, all gone I'm feeling amazing again so sodium uh, other electrolytes like potassium magnesium calcium very important ketogenic diet because you're gonna lose more of them and um, uh, you can get them as supplements just make sure that they are carbohydrate free uh, also you can get them from your water and um, uh, what else? From from water, yeah, there is a special kind of water. I don't know. Um, let me show you. So, this is the water I'm using. Uh, this has electrolytes. It has potassium, calcium, magnesium. It doesn't have sodium, but sodium is really easy to get. It's um, a supplement, and you can even add it to your water. Um, so don't be afraid of high fat if you're having any kinds of uh, issues with your blood sugar if you want to stay the winners the fittest uh, hunger free without counting calories without starving yourself all the time then high fat is your diet um, uh, make sure you uh, consume high fat no high protein diet uh, make sure that you get in your electrolytes your sodium your potassium your calcium your magnesium um, make sure that you're having enough healthy fats in your diet from sardines and fish from coconut oil brain obtain is the best source I recommend um, make sure you're eating enough butter uh, from good healthy animals um, and uh, if you want also more information about high fat diet from uh, uh, scientists who research it, uh, high fat diet for athletes just how to start uh, basic information uh, with uh, some good explanation about what high fat diet is why do it how do it uh, go to bodybuilding.com uh, podcast search it on itunes or stitcher or any application that you use to listen to your podcasts and there is a, a the recent episode is about ketogenic diet short episode there where they explain the basics of ketogenic diet what it is why it is so uh, bodybuilding.com podcast uh, listen to that one today and stop being afraid of fat uh, good fat are good for you fat does not make you fat insulin does high insulin and high insulin is driven by high carbohydrate diet especially processed sugars processed grains uh, and uh, all the 
fruit juices, all this stuff. Most of the stuff is high carb, like most of the processed stuff. And even fats can be bad for you if you're not choosing good quality fat, if you're not eating uh, organic fat from organic animals, if you're not uh, having uh, good quality uh, omega 3s, omega 6 in your diet, um, then uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues. So go high fat, try it, love it, do it right, and. Um, Angela, Daily Bite of Health. If you have any questions, if you need any advice about high fat diet, then uh, below post your questions and post your comments. And uh, I'm always um, ready and uh, happy to help you to be the fittest, leanest, healthiest you you can be. And high fat diet can help a lot with that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for likes, for questions, for comments. Thank you for support. And yeah. Have a beautiful day. <laughs> um, Angela, Daily Body of Health, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.